Uh, let's come together with a one accord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you that we are alive at such a time as this. Bless you, Father God, for our lives. Bless you for your love, Father God. We bless you for your goodness and your mercy that is new to us this day. We bless you, Father God, that you daily load us with benefits, Father God. We thank you that you are ever mindful of us, Father God. We thank you that you love us watchfully and tenderly, Father God. How great love you have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons and the daughter of the Most High God. Father, we thank you, Father God, for your beautiful spirit that is operating in and through us this day, Father God. We acknowledge your presence, Holy Spirit. You are our paraclete. You are our teacher, our leader, our guider, the one who is with us here and for us. And we yield, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Right now, as the speaker, Father God, I yield to the speaker of the house that is the Holy Spirit. I yield and I decree and declare your will be done, not my will, Father God. I thank you for word of revelation, word of knowledge, your right now word, Father God. I thank you for your ever-present help, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you are with me, you are for me, and no one will successfully be against me, Father God. Right now, I plead the blood of Jesus and the oil of the Spirit over every listener, Father God, not just today, but every day that will follow thereafter, Father God. I decree and declare, Father God, and prophesy over them eyes of spiritual enlightenment, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that the grace will be full in their life, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they will walk abounding in grace and abounding in knowledge, Father God, to fruitfulness, Father God, that fruitfulness will remain. I prophesy that over them right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood. I prophesy that they will move forth in love, Father God, in unison of spirit, Father God, loving one another, Father God, encouraging one another, Father God, not competing and devouring one another. I prophesy, Father God, an embodiment of love and unity in the body of Christ, Father God. Therewith, Father, your compassion can come forth, Father God, and you will be able to bear record to the word of your grace and grant signs and wonders. I prophesy that right now this day in the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for your goodness, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you have ordained me and you have called me, Father God, for such a time as this, Father God. You have qualified me and made me a minister in the dispensal of the gospel that is grace, Father God. I yield to your power, Father God, and I put my power above, beneath your will, Father God, that I will yield to your will over the power I have to remove myself from pressure and pain. Father God, but I take up my cross as my Lord and Savior did, Father God, and despise the shame, Father God, of doing the cross, Father God, for the joy set before me, Father God. I put your power, your will over the power I have to relieve myself, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you keep me, you strengthen, and you sustain me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the keys to the kingdom. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. What I loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I loose all of angels' resources this day, Father God, all of heaven's resources, every heavenly host, Father God, that wars on our behalf, Father, the angels that are sent forth to minister for those of us who are heirs of salvation. I thank you, Father God, that they hearken unto the voice of the word of God. They do your commands. They excel in strength. I thank you that you've given your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways, Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that they are loosed right now. They have gone forth, Father God. They shield, they guard, and they guide, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I bind up every demonic force that would hinder, that would delay, that would detour, Father God, that would distort this message, and I bind them up, Father God. I arrest their activity, Father God, and I send them where Jesus would. In the name of Jesus, I stop their effectivity, Father God. I decree and declare they are null and void, and they are irrelevant, Father. In the name of Jesus, and by the power of the blood, Father. I thank you, Father God, that this word will go forth, Father God. I thank you that you hasten to perform your words. You look after to perform it, Father God. And I thank you it will accomplish the things where it was sent. It will not return unto you void, Father God. I decree and declare that every evil speaker will not be established in the earth this day, Father God. Every demonic force that has been sent forth through jealousy, through envy, through strife that has come forth from a hateful, jealous, envious heart. I stop those demonic forces, Father God. I arrest them, Father God. And I return unto the bosom of the words thereof, Father God. That they will eat the fruit of their own ways, the fruit of their own uh, lips, Father God, and the fruit of their own thoughts, lest they repent. Yeah. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood. Father, I thank you for your words of life, words of love, your words that are effective, your words that are all power, Father God, and your words that will remain. And I thank you that your words are always enough. I seal this prayer, Father God, in the blood of Jesus and by the Spirit of God, I say amen.